But yes, yeah, so long answer short, we, we went to Ridley to pick up a new bike. So today, new bike day. New special day. Yeah. Uh, what do we do exactly? Well, so indeed we went to... Uh, actually went quite close to where I'm from, where my parents are from. Um, there's a big bike company there and it's a new sponsor so we went to Ridley, uh, picked up the first new bike which is super cool, it's, it's super nice. We could pick, I could pick my own colors uh, for the bike, you know, my own color scheme. So it was uh, interesting to see how it actually turned out and well, I think it's a super super beautiful bike. Uh, so yeah, we went to, to Ridley, went to Bike Valley. Um, which is like the, I don't know, how would you describe it? Like the bike center attached to Ridley, they have, like, for example, a wind tunnel. Um, but what we were there for was for the bike uh, fitting. Um, so we did that, which, um, yeah, it was also actually a, a new way of bike fitting for me. Like normally we, what I've done before is like, you adjust on your actual bike, but here it was different. We adjusted like on this, um, well, you could probably see it in the video, but like on this bike that, um, yeah, everything can adjust like however you want, like one millimeter accurate, and then you adjust the bike to whatever position you get on this bike. So it was super cool. Dus achtig omwenteling. Ja. Uh, die staat eigenlijk wel op de ringpower. Als je het licht vindt om de trappen te vinden, laat het weten, dan zet ik wel meer power bij. Okay. Als je last hebt van de zadel, laat me iets weten. Je mocht wel schuiven en zo op je zadel, dat je je IT goed zet. Als je zoiets hebt van mm, dat is het niet zo goed, ja. laat dat direct weten en kunnen we nog altijd switchen naar een andere zadel om te kijken hoe het wacht. actually two big buildings so you have bike valley which has the wind tunnel has like the um, the bike fitting um, they have a showroom there as well and then you have actually the Ridley factory which has the whole uh, manufacturing and assembly line uh, which they all showed us and I think Ridley is really unique in this where you can on the website you can actually yeah make the bike however you want it there is like five, six ways of how you can customize your bike and then you can add like a lot of different colors to have. So you can make it however bright you want, however colorful you want it, or just black, or you can make the logo different. So you can all like adjust your bike however you want. And then, which is actually super cool, they do it there in, in Belgium, in, in Ridley factory, they, they paint these, uh, yeah, whatever the customers chooses, they paint it and that's how it comes. So I think, uh, yeah, it's something I've never seen before and uh, it's uh, it, it's actually super just like an exciting process you know to go on the website like try different things out like ask your your friends like what do you like most which which colorway do you like most and then to, to finally like see all the steps to have it finally there uh, yeah it's super cool and unique It's a Belgian brand. Does it? Does that 
mean anything for you? Is it does it add anything? Well, yeah. definitely. Um, I think Ridley being a Belgian brand, a uh, 10 minutes drive from, from where I grew up is, uh, well, it's something super cool, you know, like, I um, think it's like a big world where there's lots of competition for bike brands, but also for triathletes. So it's nice that we can have two Belgian bike brands, the Belgian triathlete teaming up to, to conquer the world, uh, to, uh, to first try and get that medal in Paris and then afterwards try and... Uh, yeah, conquer like the 70.3 and Ironman world and uh, it makes me, yeah, even a bit proud like to, to like, well, I'm a proud Belgian, so it's uh, riding a Belgian brand um, is super cool and unique. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely an added value. And you're the third triathlete they sponsor, right? Yeah, indeed, there is uh, two more triathletes, Kenneth van Andriessen uh, and Louis Nijaert. Um, which is cool, I think, like they they only just started to get into triathlon, uh, Ridley, I mean, uh, and they already have now like three uh, good Belgium triathletes. Um, I'm the only one who does short course at the moment, the other two do long distance uh, or middle distance. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's cool that uh, Ridley is getting into like the triathlon world and really wants to invest in Belgium triathletes. So after the, the Ridley visit and after a swim, you went for the first some ride. lunch. And after some lunch, lunch you went for uh, the very first ride. Yeah, we went together for the first ride. Um, we had three hours on the plan. Um, at, in the be beforehand, we asked my dad, what's the chance you, uh, we, we get rained on? He said, 100%. He's quite pessimistic about Belgium weather. Uh, he was right. We got like maybe five minutes, ten minutes of light drizzle, so it was fine, but... In Belgium, um, how did you call it again? There's two things, rain and road works. <laughs> so we were just riding, like doing this loop on the canal, which is quite nice. Like you don't have traffic. It's, it's easy. It's safe. But I think we had two or three road works. And the problem is that their diversion for the road works goes into the forest. It got super muddy, but the bike got super dirty already. So um, it was super nice riding the bike, but it was also a bit like painful to to make it dirty straight away and then and then also on the way back uh, we went through to like the cycling path that goes in the forest but it's paved but the road was just still super super wet so uh yeah we had to give the bike a good clean already afterwards but no it was very very nice right um still you have to adjust a bit like the it's a we didn't change much in the bike fit compared to my previous bikes but even that little bit like because i think i ride so often like i can really feel it so um had to get used to it a bit, but no, it felt very comfortable. It was a very enjoyable ride. We didn't get too much rain on, uh, just that little bit. It was quite warm. We had some sunshine and we had some good talks. So we enjoyed it. I think I, I really enjoyed it. A couple of days left in uh, Belgium. What's on the, on the program? Yeah, so tomorrow i um, going to do a hard run, built run. I uh, think just along the canal, bring back some memories from when I was young and still train here. Then I'll go to the pool. I actually think I'm going to go to the hustle pool, which is, uh, I think it's open water already. Uh, the open outdoor pool is open, 50 meter outdoor. So I'll do a session in there. And then actually I'm going to drive to my cousins. It's my godson's, um, how do you call it? In Belgium we say spring party. It's like um, like first communal, but he's not doing his communal, but still have the party. It's called spring party in, 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 in Dutch, Lentefeest. Um, so we go there. Um, probably when this video is out, he already has his present. I got him a bike, of course. The <laughs> godfather that is a triathlete has to give him a bike. So that we will go there, uh, have some nice family time, which will be very enjoyable. And then on Sunday, I will, I think I'm going to go on the mountain bike, uh, just the old mountain bike that, that we still have here at my parents, because um, I don't have time to pack the new bike afterwards because I'm flying to Girona in the, in the evening. But so I'm going to do a mountain bike, a run, and then I'm off to Vilvoorde, um, where there is a, a youth triathlon. And uh, actually everyone of the Belgian Hammers will be there and we will... Um, yeah, talk a bit with the with the children there, with the with the triathletes. Um, get some, give some photos. We actually give some of the uh, starts of the of the races as well. I think it's also in the plan that we 
you know, like right with the bike in front of the first of like the last runner uh, and stuff like that. So it will be nice to interact with, uh, yeah, with the, with the, with the youth uh, triathletes that are, well, I guess looking up a bit to us. Um, it's like a yeah thing organized by the federation for the Olympics, um, which I think it's it's a bit the legacy we try to create. Where I think me and and yeah also some others of 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 our generation like really lifted the triathlon or like at least Olympic distance triathlon in Belgium. Um, so yeah, it's good to try and keep it up that we we create you that talent you know that comes into the ranks and that we can see in LA and Brisbane and then the Olympics after um, so that will be on Sunday and then from there I go straight to the airport fly back to Barcelona drive home to Girona give Sienna her little bottle because that's probably time for her to do the dream feed and then go to bed and start a new week on Monday in Girona all right I think uh, that was everything just and enjoy enjoy training and thanks for watching and if you how do they say it give a thumbs up and uh, press the subscribe button and see you next time